Hello, this is Chris, KF7P, and this video is going to show you how to set up and use a Harger Unishot. So these are the items that are included in the box. Everything you need except for the ground rod and the wires that you're going to attach to the ground rod. Let's take a look at the Harger unit and compare it with one of the competitors on the market today. First you can see the size difference in the crucible with the Harger being quite a bit larger. It's larger diameter and also the wall thickness of the mold is quite a bit larger. It handles the heat better, it's more durable, less likely to crack, it's a better product. But the big difference is in the way the powder is packaged. These two containers have the weld metal and the starter powder in them. With this particular one, the starter powder is poured in first at the factory and then filled up the rest of the way with the weld metal. The problem is, is when you pour it out into the crucible with the starter powder coming out last, the starter powder and the weld metal tend to mix in transit and shipping as you're handling it and if they get mixed together there's no way you're going to get it to ignite. With the Harger, the container is actually separated with a divider inside so the two different powders stay completely separate and when you're ready to pour the starter powder out it doesn't mix with the other one and it's much more reliable and lights much easier. Okay, so how do you set up the Harger Unishot? Well first what we're trying to accomplish is we're going to weld our wires to the top of the ground rod with these wires interconnecting our various ground rods in our ground system. So the first thing you need to do after pounding the ground rod in is get it nice and clean and the easiest way to do that is with either a wire brush or with some sandpaper. Get it nice and clean. Secondly, if the top of the ground rod has mushroomed out and deformed because of the pounding it in the ground with a big hammer, you'll need to cut that mushroom off or, or it won't fit through the hole in the bottom of the crucible. So the easiest way to do that is with a hacksaw, a sawzall, or an abrasive disc of some sort. So to set it up, you put the, the crucible on, and there's two sleeves in it where the wires go in, one on either side in this case, it's a two wire, and you'll see how it sits uh, right on top of the ground rod there. And then you'll put in the wires, and they basically just touch each other right on top of the ground rod. And then you'll put in this disc, and make sure that the uh, the metal disc part is, is seated on here and it drops in there. Make sure it's centered and it's all the way in. You'll pour in the weld metal powder. You'll put on the lid and pour in the starter powder. You'll pour the, all that in and leave about 10% around the rim of the hole and that gives the spark a place to ignite the powder and then it drops down through the hole and ignites the rest of the powder. The easiest way to ignite it is with some kind of a sparker like this type or this is by far the uh, the best they work the easiest uh, a flame like a torch will definitely not work it's got to be some kind of a spark so let's go outside now and we'll see how it works okay we're mostly ready to go here I am going to show you how to take one additional step and that is use this stuff it's called mold sealer and what it does is you can it's like soft clay and you can use it to mold around the wires where the wires go into the crucible and it helps seal that up and uh, allow it to make a nice seal and prevent any of that molten hot metal from spilling out keeping it in where it's supposed to be. The instructions say you could to use a vice grip uh, underneath the bottom of the crucible to help support it. And I'm going to take that off and just use some of this mold sealer and just put it around the bottom as well so we're all sealed up and ready to go. Okay, next step is to drop in the disc. Make sure that's seated in there nice and flat. And then pour in the weld powder. I'm gonna put in the, the weld metal first, which is the coarser powder with the clear lid. Pour that in there. So now I'll put on the lid and the starter powder, which most of it goes through the hole in the lid. Make sure you get all that out of there. All right, so we are ready to go. Now, quick reminder on safety. Make sure you have your safety glasses on. Make sure you have your uh, big gloves on. This stuff gets extremely hot. If it were to get on you, it would burn right through anything you happen to be wearing. So it's really important you stay safe when you're doing this. All right, now we'll spark it and see what happens.
and that's it. So we'll let it cool down and then break it apart and see what it looks like. Alright, so there's the finished connection. A nice permanent connection that you can bury, cover it up with dirt, no maintenance, you never have to mess with it again. It's under the ground, it's perfect. And you can get these that'll work with one wire, with two wires, uh, with four wires, with three wires. You can get them in different configurations uh, to work for your circumstances.